Okay, Torah 158 Truma. Okay, the Alt Rebbe is explaining the Pazem Yitenchel Kochli that in time of Golas Deed now asking Hashem, why don't you uh, behave to us like a brother even though we don't deserve it? So he says that the ten Svitas are the way Alokuz comes into the world, but that's only the name of Hashem. The essence of Hashem is infinitely greater than that. And he said about the Kruvim, I think we finished this paragraph. But no, we didn't. Okay, start the second uh, column, 138. Okay, this is the level of Teda, which is the Maila, which is the level, like you said, Shemesh, Shalak Kodesh Baruch, and the level of Adam and all that. Which is the tale of Fanenu because Talmud is in Bria. It says in Kabbalah like this. Talmud is in Bria. So now Tere has to come. Tere is Chokhmah Sishol Kodesh Baruch. So Chokhmah originates in Atzilis. Now Tere has to come down here though. We need to, to get into the practical aspects of Tere. So it comes, and it has to be Ayyadei Tzimtzum. It has to be through the level that Tere is the Samsim with the level of Tzimtzum for Tere of Atzilis to come into Bria. And that's what Chazal says. It says in the Gemara that the Ebershter takes the Shechina and squeezes it in between the two poles of the Arden. That's where the Shechina spoke to Meishe Rabbeinu from. Because from there, that Meishe, the voice of Hashem spoke to Meishe Rabbeinu, where they should seem to that he was limited himself. And this level of Simpson is called Kruv. Which is a level of the small face. Like you said before, one Kruv was a big face, one Kruv was a small face. The Gili of the Seichel of a kid. It's much more limited than by a great, by an older person. And that's what it says. Kruv one crew from this side, meaning it goes from the level of a locus higher, it comes to the opposite extreme down here. Shulamam shachal mo maila lamata. Lies mok of a shayla lam shachal se erbibia. In other words, how does a locus come from at silas into bria? Or how does Tata come from at silas into bria? These giluyim of a locus, it's all through the level of Simpson. Then it limits itself, and therefore it's called the small face, because what's the small face of a small child? It's the level of the seichel of that child is much more limited, mitzumtzum, compared to the seichel of an adult, or at least the das of the adult. And then he says, um, yeah, and what does it mean, the second kruv? How does this Yerida happen? What causes Hashem to want to be Mitzamsim himself? Meaning, why does Hashem want to limit himself to come down from Atzilus to Bria? What keeps it, like we read this morning in Kriya, as Kovni Lachmi Li Shai, like we learned the other my mom, Dr. Rebbe explained, why a Kabon is called Lechem? Because just like food keeps the Nisham in the body, what keeps Hashem in the world? Karbonis, Tayyar Mitzvahs, Reach Dichayach. So therefore, what do Mitzvahs do? When a Jew does a Mitzvah, he says, Mistiris Nefesh of Krishna, in Hashem Achod, and the Ahafto, that awakens Hashem to want to be down here. And therefore, to be Mitzam to himself, to limit himself. Because we want it and we do it. Like you have a in a proper teacher and students, when the teacher sees the students are interested in learning, they want to know, he'll teach much differently than if he's not, they're forced to be there and he's forced to be there and, you know, he'll do it to Yetzir, you know, to be Yetzir. But he won't do it in a way that, what's either the teacher to be Megala more? The student who is willing and anxious to be able to learn 
means through Echad and Vyohafto. I know Aidesh Ma Yisro. Through the level of Shma Yisrael is Bain in Echavaya Echod. In a way, Avaniya, the violation is Right? Raksha Ame Vaya Elam. Then, in other words, like this. David to himself is Ba'etzim, nothing to do with the world. Aniya, violation is And we learned, Elukus itself has no connection with the world whatsoever. What created world? Vayem Elakim, Vayem Elakim, Asar and Maimaris. The ten utterances created world. What is speech? And Dr. Rebbe explains in Parakhov of Tanya, one word compared to the power of speech, compared to the power of thought, compared to the meters, compared to Seichel, compared to the essence, is infinitely, infinitely nothing. So therefore, the whole world, is his brain in this. Person is his brain in, in, in the greatness of the universe. Yeah, the vast universe, not only Earth, the universe. And then he realized that that's only Bidvar Hashem Shemaim Nasu with one word of Hashem's mouth. So you can imagine how great the essence of Hashem is, the level of Echod, which over there means Yochid, with both Mailas, so the Echod and Yochid together. So that Maila causes the person to have become the Sirusid Lusatan, to want to be close to Hashem. And therefore, when Hashem, you open up your mouth, the Bamaleo, David just says, I give it. So what causes the Tzimtzum? Kruv Echod Mikotzimizah. It has to be Kruv Echod Mikotzimizah. Through the Ebishter, by the Eden awakening this desire of Hashem by making the Kali of Tarim Mitzvahs. And Mesir's Nefesh of Echad. To awaken that level of Alakus to do Tarim, to connect Hashem so that Hashem reveals Himself. So therefore, what happens by the Kuruvim and the concept of Tarim? Symptom Shechinosib in Shnei Badi Oren. Hashem limits His greatness of Shechino, Tarim, Shechino, and all the different levels. That it comes down into the world. That's why, where did Hashem Ishmael become Medavid Eilav Mi Bein Shnei Akruvim? Where did David hear? Where did Meishu Rabbeinu hear the voice coming from? From between the two Kruvim. That's the way Elokus is limiting himself between the two Badi Ha'aren, which is a limited space, and therefore he reveals himself that way. What? The idea that to arouse God to wanting to be correct uh, earth, uh, yeah why is that words, why is it too far-fetched it's not too far-fetched you're far-fetched <laughs> what it means is there's a question if we're nothing yeah. so how do we do anything exactly. how do we accomplish uh, uh, Hashem? how do we achieve this sort of big good smell meaning that Hashem only because he said so the only reason, well, when I do a mitzvah, you do a mitzvah, they do a mitzvah, it accomplishes anything, is because Hashem said, even though, so to speak, mathematically and conceptually, a limited creature cannot accomplish anything regarding an infinite Hashem, Hashem said, nevertheless, Shamarti Venasinatsani, because I told you to do it and you did it, that creates the connection. And therefore, by the way, a Jew can come along and say, I want to connect Hashem by own way. Uh, uh, by me, uh, eating uh, cake in the morning is my mitzvah. Why doesn't that work? Because conceptually, it, it, nothing could work. The only reason it works is because Hashem said to do it, and you do it. And Dr. Rebbe Tanya gives a marshal. There's an unbelievably great king and a simple peasant. There's no connection between the realm of the king and the realm of the peasant. The king one day calls in the peasant and says, you know what, I want you to do this and this for me. And the peasant does it, that automatically creates the relationship. So therefore, if I want you to do it on my way, on my style, it doesn't work. It won't work. It can't work. Because us and Hashem are two infinite things apart. It can't have any effect. But when a person does what Hashem wants us to do, that's only because he said and we do it. Is Otherwise, there's no connection whatsoever. Desire or want? Desired. Now, did uh, Ramon said that uh, Hashem uh, instituted this Korbanot because there was a tendency of nations at that time to do the same, and there was a tendency by the populace to do the same, so, so, so that they would... Maybe a murder in the book, he doesn't say it to Ramon. Okay. 
Tu vas 